winter weather alert. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to a Tuesday morning coming up on 716. Here's a live shot in Fremont. It looks like they've already got a couple of inches out on the ground there, uh, as you can see. And you folks up in Fremont, up in Macosta County, up in Oceana County, will see the most uh, snowfall from this system because I don't think we're going to see much, if any, of the way of rain mix in there. So you'll probably end up with about three to six inches. The rest of our area seeing a quick burst of about one to three inches this morning. A lot of that's probably going to go away because the snow is going to stop and then we'll see some rain mix in maybe a changeover completely to rain eventually through the afternoon from Grand Rapids southward. So a lot of that snow is going to go away. Bigger system arriving on Friday and into Saturday and then Arctic cold comes in behind that. We usually see at least one Arctic outbreak every uh, year, every season. That's going to generate some accumulating lake effect snow, I think, for Sunday, Monday and beyond. Here's live Doppler radar. We actually have drier conditions right now unless the radar beam is overshooting the snow, but it looks a little bit drier, at least temporarily. Uh, in Oceana County and portions of Nuego County. Uh, some steadier snow coming in right now across Ottawa County. You can see those darker bands of blue and purple. Uh, this is all coming up from the south. There are some uh, dry spots in there, but we're still getting some snow coming down in some areas that a decent clip, and that'll continue for the next few hours. Temperatures 32, 33 degrees, 34 in Holland. It's 35 right now in Muskegon. We have wind chills that feel like they're in the 20s, and look at the wind speeds. Very brisk out of the east at about 15 to 20. 25 miles per hour. That's what these numbers represent. We go through the day. We'll keep those wind speeds up. Watch as we go through the overnight hours and it's tomorrow morning. Watch the time clock here. You see the oranges, the reds, the magentas. Wow, those core, the strongest wind speeds come through late tonight and into tomorrow morning out of the north and west behind the low at about 15 to 30 miles per hour with some gust up around 40. Those winds will eventually diminish as we go through the day tomorrow and that low pressure system pulls farther away into Canada. Here's what it looks like over the last six hours. Boy, there's a lot of moisture out there. This is not a snowstorm for West Michigan, but it is a winter storm for the eastern half of the nation. The scope of this thing is huge with severe weather down to the Gulf Coast, the southeast United States. Rain further to the south, and that rain line is going to move up here as we progress through the later morning and into the afternoon hour. So cloudy, windy, a burst of some morning snow of about one to three inches across a lot of the area. That mixes with and changes over to rain during the afternoon. So a lot of us will probably lose that snow unless you're further north of Grand Rapids. 37 for the high with easterly winds at 15 to 25 miles per hour. To conceptualize it, that's what I love about Future Track. It does a very nice job showing us this is being driven by this area of low pressure. There there's the snow at 9 a.m. Watch that snow and rain line work all the way up to about Grand Rapids as this wraps in slightly warmer air and changes everything over to rain, windy conditions. But as that low pulls away, the winds ramp up out of the north and west behind it. We'll see maybe an inch or so of snow behind this system across the area tonight and into tomorrow morning. But that will diminish off and the winds will diminish as we go through later portions of the day, maintaining just mainly mostly cloudy skies by that time. Another little clipper system comes in, brings us an inch or two of snow Wednesday night into Thursday, and there'll be a bigger storm system, probably bigger than this one. Six inches or more of snow possible with windy conditions by the time we get into Friday and Saturday. From north to south, east to west, our entire viewing area is under a winter weather advisory. This one across Oceana, Nuego, and Macosta counties lasts the longest until 10 a.m. on Wednesday morning. Here's what we think will shake out this morning. One to three inches of snow across a lot of the area, but a lot of that will disappear when it mixes with and changes the rain. We're it stays all snow, northern Muskegon County, Oceana, Nuego, Macosta, probably a total of about three to six inches of snow. Look at our precipitation chances over the next several days. Wow, 60, 70, 80 percent chances of snow with that Arctic area that's going to be coming in. So uh, we talked about today the rain, the snow mix there. Uh, some morning snow, windy conditions tomorrow. Otherwise, that'll taper off through the day and the winds will diminish. 34 degrees there. Uh, some light snow winds that end into Thursday might pick up an inch or two there. And then the next winter storm arrives throughout the day on Friday. That goes into Saturday. Behind that storm system, Arctic air plunges in. Several inches of accumulating lake effect snow will be possible for Sunday and beyond. So if you've been waiting for winter, you won't have to wait much longer. That's weather. It's 720. Now we get an update on traffic. Here's Rob.